Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what we call the Family Affair, Dale Chanel's 48th World, featuring the Family Affair. Guess right, you're my co-host. When I come aboard on YouTube, you all come on with me, honey. That's just how we do this thing. Got to come to my family, honey. <laughs> now, we're going to pick it back. We're going to go way on back to last Sunday when we saw the Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 12 reunion part one and you know if you saw my video you know how i got down you know who i rolled with and there's no sense of rehashing that go and watch the video like it and share it that's all i gotta say if you didn't catch it uh, but we're gonna be talking about mckenna moore and all these people like vivica Fox, marlo hampton nene leaks and anybody else I might have out there in my video <laughs> showing that Kenya Moore is a manipulative, creative woman who wants us to think, or she wants the masses to think that she is truly married. Now, y'all know she took how many times, how many years to come up with wanting to show us her fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity of a marriage certificate license that she wants us to believe in its totality that is real. Hey, those who see, see, those who hear, hear. Okay, use your own discernment whether you feel that her marriage is true to form, is real, and she actually got married. Y'all use your own perspectives. Y'all grown as hell. Y'all know what's up. Okay. So it's just in the window speculations. And nobody has proof. But what Kenya has decided to show us. Not show us. And her history of a track record. Of lying. Okay. Or trying to expose other people. This is just how she gets down. But we're going to go into Celebrity Insider. Yes. That social media platform of a entertainment vlogging site yes ricky mathers over there wrote up an article she titled it saint lucia court clerk confirms kenya moore's marriage certificate is real after speculations that is uh that she's faked it okay now we all seen it or most of us saw it had a chance to analyze it because some top bloggers had put it out there for the masses to see um i think Layla lynn did it y'all check out her channel uh just a host of others i think michelle atl and brown uh did it as well go check out her channel and i think they have like a place where they have like a patreon or a subscription you can join and they give y'all the extra extra tea with sugar and cream for those who want to pay money to see uh, what she has to offer for as results and, and, and receipts that can further collaborate uh, the saying that Kenya Moore ain't married. This is something she done went and typed up on some pretty hard paper or maybe some lackluster paper. And got somebody to lie for her. Okay. But anyway. I would be more believable if she married her best friend, her gay friend, uh, Brandon. <laughs> Even though one of my family members really believe Brandon fathered her child, Brooklyn. But that's just another whole story, another whole video, okay? Believe what you want. It's all entertainment. It's all we just chit-chatting over here trying to find some reasoning truth to what we can live with, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, all right. But anyway, that's Layla Lynn. Uh, information that she put up there. And like I said, go s see her channel. Check out her channel. She is a good vlogger. A celebrity in entertainment news. Bringing out the news that y'all can use. Okay. But don't forget to stop over here at Dale Chanel's 4 days World, honey. And check us out too. See what we got on what I done put out there. And I want y'all to speculate. Put your opinions down in them comments. And let's chit chat about this shit. Okay. We want to expose everything. That's fake foolery. Fuckery. Fraudulent. Shitty. Piece of news. That we can get our hands on. Okay. That's what we want to do. God I like. That see through paper. And that see you coming through that other side. Which is not supposed to happen. Because it's not supposed to happen. Okay. So, y'all decide if it's fake or not. I'm just bringing y'all the story. With my commentary put 
put in for the boot. But anyway, we go to the article. It reads, Real Housewives of Atlanta fans of fame. Well, fa- well wait a minute. Okay. Real Housewives of Atlanta fans have been dying to know if Kenya Moore's marriage to Mark Daly was legal or not after Nina Lee said that there is no record of them getting married in the eyes of the law. Although the queen of twirls brought her marriage certificate to the virtual reunion, there was still speculation that the documents were fake. There was something suspicious about Kenya's quick wedding to the restaurateur to to begin with, considering the fact that she blindsided Bravo with the news and refused to film with her new husband and adding in the season's drama where viewers saw the way Mark treated his wife and the revelation that she never even met his parents. Some were easy to believe Nene's claims that the relationship was an arrangement. And my side, boy, I'm going to always view it as an arrangement. I don't care what can you bring out. Because it's, it was truly her getting married. It was solidified. You could find it, okay? And then I know we got the haters out there that saying it ain't none of your damn business whether it should be found or not. She married, she presented it, this, that, and the third. Yes, pre- she presented her case, but Kenya's a big ass liar, okay? I'm just sorry. That's what she is. She don't never stand in her shit. That she don't pour it out for people to partake of and eat it. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You got to come better than that little fake uh, fake looking document. Okay. Can you pay it on and believe it? He's like, girl, please get that shit out of him. <laughs> Throw it back. I don't want it. Send it back to the kitchen. Okay. But anyway, um, like I said, with King, Kenya's demeanor and everything, she like to show and prove. She like to show and prove. So, ain't no way in the world she gonna wait this long. And just because we still hounding her about whether her uh, the validity of her marriage is true to form, she gonna come out with this mess. God, please. Maybe she just securing herself for season 13. Have you ever thought about that? Now, that's just my pun intended, my sidebar. We're gonna get back to this uh particular arrangement they call themselves got going on okay with this storyline it says more came with guns blazing at the real housewives of atlanta reunion when she showed andy cohen and her co-stars her wedding license well honey did andy sit there like he was telling portia send me no receipts portia send me no please because he know can you full of shit he know he just want to catch her on a lie so i guess he could throw her off the show or penalize her and take some more money back from her Okay, because he didn't ask her, uh, well, can you send me that document? Can you send me that document, can you? I just want to look at it for myself. Okay, can you can you forward it to me, baby? He didn't say that. So he was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, it says, going back to the article, however, there were some fans who took to Twitter to call out Kenya for allegedly forging the documents. Okay, one particular uh, Twitter person. Excuse me, guys. Uh, tweeted, King was so happy to produce a marriage certificate to a man that won't even let her speak to his parents. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Kenya, you still look like a nut out in these streets. Okay, that's in my point at the end. Then we got Dursey. She responded first, y'all dog Kenya and say she's lying about her fake marriage and there's no license. And now when she finally shows y'all to prove that everyone was begging for including the cast, now the angle is why she is happily showing it off. Y'all need to pick a side and stay there. Now, true, true, Dorsey. You're right, we do. But when Kenya come out with this mess, it's just hard hard to just not let it go under the rug. You see what I'm saying? They wouldn't let Nene hiding in under the rug. They don't let Portia hiding in under the rug. Even though, you know, she got a messed up situation with Dennis. But we still roll with her, okay? And she tried to give us a little bit here and there. But it just is what it is. Then going back to the article, it says, Kenya, girl, that marriage certificate could be just as fake as you claim Phage's divorce decree was. All right. Hashtag Real Housewives Reunion wrote one. Oh, my gosh. Kenya and that fake marriage certificate. You can order that red seal from Amazon. Hashtag Real Housewives Reunion added another. This person tweeted their observation first, y'all. Dog King. Okay, yeah. I, I read that already. Uh, then we got Aston Miller. He says, boo-hoo, Kenya, nobody feels bad for you or your fake marriage and fake marital problems. Okay? Now, the gossip website, The Sun, is confirmed that Kenya's papers are indeed legit. 
The publication said that a St. Lucia court clerk confirmed their wedding license for their June 10, 2017 ceremony. During the same sit-down, Kenya also revealed that she and Mark are still in counseling. And we did hear, and this is my sidebar because that was the ending when they said her and Mark were still in counseling. Now, y'all did hear she said she was doing counseling virtually. So, I'm like, what? Girl, can you, can you just go up there and have counseling in New York? All right, okay, he come down here in Atlanta and have counseling here. Because <sighs> you said he's already out there in the, uh, delivering food to the people in the hospital, so he ain't social distancing himself. He might be masked up and all that and trying to do the uh, good Samaritan deed by go helping those that are less fortunate and are suffering really bad from the coronavirus. But he ain't sitting around no well. He is not sitting around. So, I don't know where you're coming from, Can you Still, girl. You're still coming up with bullshit. Okay? Total bullshit. And how we know that that clerk, clerk wasn't paid. I'm just saying. I'm just th throwing out hypothetical situations. Okay? That's all I'm doing. Because I, I really don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Um... So, fam, it's y'all time to get down there. I'm going to see if I can play this clip. I don't know if it's relevant to what we're talking about, but let's see. Um, no, I don't think it's relevant. Let's see here. My brother, I know he like calling me when I'm trying to do something. But anyway, we're just going to say girl bye on this situation. We'll get back with you, Kenya. Uh, but just the moving and shaking that you're doing, it just doesn't add up. Yeah, it, it really don't add up. Okay, you saying Martin did a 360-degree turn. He want to say he married, did that in third. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure where it's going. Hold on, guys. I'm taping. I'll call you right back. Okay, so y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Is this fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity of a display of a marriage tip certificate that's not real? Or do y'all believe Kenya did come out swinging hard, twirled, and left us a receipt? A true receipt. Because the receipt she tried to have on Porsche or Nene, that was three years old. <laughs> I'm like, man, put that in the shredder. That's not current news. That's not in the year news that we need shoot and then again couldn't it be how i've always thought it? if it was a true marriage it's just in marriage name only okay you don't have to have sex the normal way to produce a baby she could be artificially inseminated i knew she was doing that ivf treatment i think that was really all it was about there don't have to be no sex involved that could be just an added benefit for mark which I know I think Mark is bisexual, but that's just my pun intended, okay? That is just my speculation. But Mark don't care about Kenya because he damn sure ain't showing it. I don't know if he's an alpha male and he just like treating women that way or whatnot because he is a divorcee. Uh, he's been married before. But I, mm -mm, if I would tell you I was on that show, I would have found that cookie later, honey. I would have brought her, had her up in my house and said, oh, y'all, we got a guest here. And guess who this guest is? Well, she's the uh, so-called allegedly woman Kenya called herself getting together that was fooling around with Mark or still wanting to fool around with Mark, even though she knew he was married. He was a married man. So that's how I would have played, honey. I would have left no stone unturned until i found the cookie lady uh not the cookie lady but uh the mistress that kenya was talking about that was in, in, <coughs> infiltrating her digs okay her man and all of that uh, we sure would stay there but people were asking questions kenya was sidelining they behind she was like mm, i ain't gonna answer that question i'm gonna go all the way around the world but i'm not answering that question okay because it's hard for me to defend kenya look up to kenya with all the things she definitely has done and it didn't necessarily need to be done to solidify herself for another season okay one which was bringing out that cookie later okay two is when uh she tried to shade cynthia when it came to her wine connoisseuring talents or skills three when she tried to um have cynthia involved in that whole cookie later situation 
Yes, Lord. I can keep going on and on and on. It's going to be pretty much she bashing uh, Cynthia because Candy don't too much let her do it. Because even when Candy tried to set her straight when she was trying to call out or tell Cynthia about her wedding, which is another pitfall uh, that I didn't like that Kenya tried to do. Yeah, go over to Chronicle Speaks as well and check out her channel. Uh, because she did a story on whether this marriage certificate was fake or not. But, you know, Kenya has done so much. And you can't just overlook and keep looking away. Such as how Candy and, and Evil. And at one time, Portia was trying to do at Kenya's antics. You know, no. And it was just trying to tear, tear a person all the way down to the ground. So, my digs on this particular article that was brought out uh, by Celebrity Insider with one of their correspondents, their journalists, uh, Ricky Mathers, uh, Mathers uh, confirming that Cynthia's, I'm not Cynthia's, Kenya's uh, relationship, marriage certificate uh, to being married to Mark. It, like I said, it could best be a legal contract in name only, meaning we ain't did the mumbo lingo or mumbo jumbo or the having sex where the penis in, uh, enters the vagina and y'all do it that way. Or even if it could be French benefits, he could be getting that too. But my thing, it was just an arrangement for her to have a fake mar marriage to a man uh, and to have a baby. Instead of her just going on and saying, can you be my sperm donor? Uh, you don't have to have any, any obligations to the child if you don't want to. But you seem like, you know, to be uh, outstanding man inside and out you have a lot going for yourself self and i would love for you to be a sperm donor for me to have a baby and she could have paid him off that way just a contractual agreement for a storyline and that's how i view it but you know it may be in fact that she is married say it was say it was a true uh certificate of marriage if we want to believe it but look how he treat her he treat her like shit he treated her like gum underneath his shoe. Okay? So, the trade-off, I would just like it to be a storyline for her to be so embarrassed that she actually married this man. And this man is treating her like pure, raw garbage. Okay? But like I said, get out in them comments, fam. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Get in where you fit in. Tell me what you think. And I will see y'all next video. Alright, peace out.